Walker. He comes uh, not from that far, from over the Prut River, from uh, Yash, from Romania. Mr. Dan Zaharia, consultant, trainer, speaker, businessman, developer, owner of real estate also. And um, yeah, he will tell us a little bit, we'll talk about this, uh, how to build an office yeah. of the future, for the future. And I liked uh, at the coffee spot we talked about it and I liked his uh, motto that he said about IT industry. So to get back to work, get vaccinated again, this get off the masks and get back to work. <laughs> Then you have the floor. Thank you, Andre. Uh, it's always a pleasure to, to be here in Kishno. I have a lot of friends and uh, I consider uh, Yash and Kishno as being uh, two sister uh, uh, cities. In the fact that uh, if you are looking from uh, above uh, Europe, you see a cluster uh, between Yash and uh, Kishinov of uh, cities that are uh, yeah, on the radar of um, IT and outsourcing companies. Uh, you know, in 2018, Yash and in 2020, Kishinov won the, uh, an award at uh, the CEO Outsourcing Awards in, uh, in uh, Poland, uh, marking the fact that both cities are... Uh, Uh, on the verge of uh, uh, attracting more and more um, uh, IT companies uh, uh, here. Uh, we are not talking about back to the cities or uh, um, back to office uh, or back to um, work from home or work from office, okay? So uh, back to office is like, Uh, let's focus again on the office. Let the, 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 your city grow again because I see the um, offices as being, uh, as being uh, one of the um, key elements for an economic evolution of, a, of a, uh, cities such as ours, which are not uh, connected to the European infrastructures of highways. Actually, we are connected on the uh, highway of information. We have uh, big airports, uh, both cities and uh, Of course, uh, this uh, leads to new businesses coming to town. Uh, be aware of the fact that at some point, the lack of uh, modern of, uh, office stock can become a, a kind of a, a break for the development of the city. We saw that in, 2000, that in 2018 in Yash, when there, uh, actually no big uh, office developments were uh, announced uh, in our city. Uh, in the meantime, in 2023, uh, there will be uh, at least uh, 100,000 more uh, of uh, office uh, uh, developments being uh, deployed on the market. Palace uh, extension is one of them, Seal District is the other, uh, and both have uh, uh, additional uh, stages to be deployed. Um, We actually uh, replaced the, the former factories with uh, these uh, smoke-free factories, as we call it, uh, Fabric for a Fum. Uh, actually, in, uh, in, uh, in the city of Yash, uh, the former industrial area is no longer an industrial area. Uh, uh, the, the industrial area moved outside the city on the west part, where the highway that uh, eventually will connect to Kishino also uh, is coming. Uh, and the former industrial area, we call it new industry district. Ba basically, it's the development of uh, a lot of, uh, it's the area of uh, the development of a lot of mixes uh, uh, projects like uh, retail, uh, residential, and of course, offices. Uh, so, from my point of view, office stock is an indicator of, uh, of the city growth. Um, because if you do not have enough offices, uh, you will not have enough IT companies coming and employing and localizing the workforce in, uh, in the city. Um, also, please take into consideration the fact that um, office developments and mixed-use developments uh, is, um, uh, are something that uh, can reconvert a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, unused area. Uh, here, a digital park is a perfect example of uh, reconversion from a former industrial platform, and hopefully, because uh, I uh, noticed that uh, your your uh, 
building is uh, already 90% full with uh, tenants, you should consider also the uh, second and the third uh, stage of development here in, uh, in the digital park uh, platform. So uh, my bet is on the reconversion of the uh, existing uh, buildings or uh, demolishing them if they cannot be uh, reconverted in order to uh, use the facilities that already uh, are in the city, like uh, public transportation, like uh, utilities that are already within the city. So this kind of brown redevelopment, reconversion is my uh, uh, advice. Um, Mixed-use developments will dominate. So uh, I saw the presentation from uh, Kaufland. I, uh, I like it, and uh, I think uh, more and more uh, developments should include some kind of uh, uh, smaller format of, uh, or uh, uh, medium format of uh, supermarkets within the community in order for the people who are coming back from the, uh, to do their uh, apartments, to their houses, not to traveling extensively for, for their uh, uh, daily shoppings or uh, even weekly shoppings, to have this kind of supermarkets within their neighbor. Uh, but not only that, a lot of other services like after schools, like, uh, and you'll see in one of, uh, of our, uh, my next uh, slides. So is not, I saw on the, on the and I hope, uh, I, hope uh, I will not uh, anger anyone, I, also, I saw on the, on the way uh, uh, here a uh, uh, nice uh, uh, glass and uh, steel uh, uh, office building, I, I think, near Bucuria factory. It's very nice, but where is the parking? I, I didn't see the parking. So this kind of uh, uh, de uh, deployment of such uh, high-rise uh, offices within the city without taking into consideration the neighborhood are actually destroying the value of the properties uh, within. These are the, some projects that are uh, under development in, uh, in Yash or are under project. You, you will see also Palace. You, you will see the seal district, you, you will see uh, other, uh, and all of them are mixed with uh, uh, more function than just office. Uh, this is why we should adapt, particularly in this pandemic, uh, in this pandemic times. Consider that people will like more and more to work from home, but if the office is, is right across the street, Okay, they will work from office also, or, and uh, their home will be close to, to office. And of course, the company itself will have a, it has it will have a, a, a competitive advantage. People will not move from that cluster of companies that are uh, within the office uh, building because uh, they live nearby, so they do not want to cross the street, uh, to cross the city uh, in another neighborhood just for a better salary. These are the trends that we are looking to. Okay, so it, it no, uh, consider that the class A uh, as a name is worthless. From uh, there is no international uh, standard for this. What is a class A building? But anyone at some point was a, a fashion to to name their office buildings as being class A. Uh, Steadily, they had the office and retail, they had office and uh, uh, residential. The future is this, uh, this uh, kind of uh, mixed-use developments with uh, green buildings, uh, with international certification, with uh, kindergartens, like uh, I, uh, with electric car, with uh, supermarkets, with, uh, we have a building in Bucharest that has a, a, a track on top of the building, so people can uh, run in the morning uh, on top of the building, okay, so they can do uh, running in, in that building. Co-working spaces also, and a lot of other stuff that should be included in this kind of mixed-use development. It's no longer uh, uh, okay to have just residential, to have a lot of cars going out of the residential uh, uh, neighborhood uh, to get to work or to, to, to get their people, their uh, kill, children in, in, at work. Uh, people should walk to work, should walk to, to, to the school of uh, their uh, children, okay? So this kind of development can be done, uh, can die within the city. So my, my uh, 
my take out are, uh, for today is let's zoom out in, in the fact that uh, when attracting and uh, of course the guys from GIS Moldova know when attracting uh, uh, new investors, new companies to, to your city it's very important to look beyond what's uh, uh, this basic comparison with uh, cities around you. Actually, a company is comparing South Africa with Poland, with uh, Republic of Moldova, with Romania, because, because they can de deploy if the language skills and technical skills are there anywhere. Okay, so they can either of this uh, this country can can be uh, their next offices. So look, uh, because in the Central and Eastern Europe, which now has a very uh, uh, focused eye from investors uh, on us. Uh, look what kind of cities we should uh, benchmark. Okay, look at Katowice, look at uh, Krakow, look at Lyov, uh, uh, look at uh, Yash, of course, look at uh, Kosice, look at Skopje. There are a lot of new uh, uh, players on the market of attracting IT companies for the office buildings. Uh, so, Another takeaway from this meeting is uh, develop offices. They will uh, produce uh, workplaces, which uh, um, they will produce uh, um, uh, requests for apartments, and they will buy from Kaufland. Okay, so uh, this is the, the if uh, you uh, you build 10 uh, square meters of office, uh, you build uh, in, uh, new incomes in the city. Okay, uh, because uh, workplace follows uh, actually the, the expenses uh, uh, the people are uh, paying more for the services and uh, uh, buying more if they have a, a constant uh, uh, workplace uh, this is me but you'll have the, the presentation and also this is an article uh, of, about uh, not falling in love too fast with your city okay let's be pragmatic let's be realistic I'm just giving you an example. I saw a, a magazine uh, promoting uh, different cities in Poland. And if I put my thumb on the name of the city, uh, the rest of the advertising was like this. International airports, more than uh, 50,000 uh, students, uh, open to investors. Okay, Actually, it could be any of the 50-plus uh, 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 regional cities that are in uh, uh, Central and Eastern Europe. Okay, but we, um, this is why we, we should focus on what we have on hand, okay? uh, what, we have, uh, uh, what we can develop and not to copy but to just uh, raise the bar uh, towards uh, what kind of advantages has your city to offer. And uh, my, my uh, advice is like this, let your, uh, let your city grow faster. If you are not developing, and I, I saw that 12% on, uh, on the office premises is all you have on the non-residential market, it's too little. Just make this exercise. We are making in Yash. Uh, we are have a, having a pipeline of uh, relevant graduates for the IT and outsourcing uh, industries of around 2,800 to 3,000 uh, new graduates, new fresh graduates every year from uh, computer science, from economics, from uh, foreign languages. And uh, actually this means that we need 25,000 new office spaces, 25,000 square meter new office spaces each year. And from 2018, we only uh, delivered around uh, 20,000. So actually, we are now at minus 75,000 square meter that should be delivered. Hopefully, because we are in construction and then uh, 2023 we'll have 100,000 uh, already delivered, we will uh, bridge that gap. But it was a close call. This means that a company that will not uh, secure, will not find 5,000 square meter of new offices uh, in your, uh, in your uh, city, will not bring 500 uh, workplace uh, more in your city. And those uh, uh, workplaces are lost forever. They will go to another city. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dan. And uh, I like the statistics about the students that are graduating. And uh, how many are staying, if you know, in Yash? Well, 10 years ago, it, it was like 30% uh, of them were living for uh, Western uh, Europe and uh, for uh, uh, US. 
20 years ago was like 95%, okay? Now less than 5% are, uh, are walking away because Amazon is, uh, is here uh, and Dava is here like in your city, Oracle. A lot of companies, this is what I, I told you that office, localize the workforce. Give them work to work on an international uh, market to, to gain uh, above the, the average uh, salary and to consume within their city. I see. So basically what you're saying, if Yash is not keeping the pace with the offices, Kishinev has a good chance to attract this part if it builds new offices. What, what are the chances that we host also Amazon here for, for some employees, uh, for none. some of our graduates? None. <laughs> no, no uh, it's not. Uh, Amazon has a different uh, deployment, but we already have a lot of companies that are present in both cities. Okay. Uh, and I mentioned Pentalog, Arobs, uh, and Dava, just uh, on top of my, my mind. But just to give you a comparison, uh, we have half your population, but we have twice the, the office uh, stock uh, that you have. And we have the same, quite the same number of uh, IT guys working in the field, okay? So uh, I think you should look closer to Lyov, you should uh, look closer to Krakow, which are uh, 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 cities within your league, okay? This is the, the market that you should follow. But this call to zoom out is addressed to whom? Uh, including to us, okay? Because, uh, like I told you, we are uh, um, um, inclined to fall in love with our city. Our city is the best. We have the best women. We have the best restaurants. We have the best schools. Actually, it's not that true, okay? So, actually, we should zoom out and see that other countries also have, other cities also have this. What we have different, and what uh, I think you, uh, you have different, is uh, that you are uh, a smaller country, uh, and uh, the prime minister or the vice prime minister can come to your... Uh, it's easily reached. Okay. These uh, days you cannot uh, uh, ask any prime minister from uh, Romania to come to your... They have different uh, jobs uh, these days. Uh, and you can uh, be as agile as uh, Estonia. Okay, so uh, this is uh, what we are calling uh, uh, Republic of Moldova as the, uh, uh, like the new Estonia. Okay, and uh, comparing, when comparing the cities, we are not comparing Yash with Cluj-Napoca or Timisoara. Okay, we will, we, they wish to be, be the next Silicon Valley. We would, we wish not. Uh, let them be the next uh, Silicon Valley of uh, Transylvania. Uh, we want at some point Kishinov to say we want to be the Yash of Republic of Moldova, if you know what I mean, okay? So we want to develop our, our way and we see this kind of verticals in IT. Automotive, we do not have any factories. Continental, even if uh, now it's the, the biggest employer, they have like 2,600 engineers, they do not have any factory in Yash, okay? Hey, only offices, I know. Only offices. A big so investment we, we, we kind of mutate from an industrial city to a service city, and now we are coming back uh, because Kaufland now, uh, I'm sorry, you are here in my, so I can give example. Now it's making the, the second biggest uh, uh, warehouse in Romania uh, in Iași. So we are slowly coming back to logistic. You are more developed on this part. So every city I has... I think it's also linked to their project here in Moldova because it's too far from Playa Yes, now. yes, yes. And hopefully this phantom of uh, A8, uh, the, the highway that will unite Rgumuresh uh, with uh, Yash uh, and Chisinau, and uh, from what I saw maybe with, with Kiev, will also uh, redevelop, re-put re uh, our, our cities in this uh, uh, race towards uh, development. Okay, thank you Dan so much for these insights from not so far.